These two characters were both created during TikTok OC challenges, and today I'm going to draw them in our world. By the way, feel free to leave your questions in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer them. Anyway, the two OCs are Mira and Sol, spelled S-O-L, and in the science fiction world in which they live, they are siblings. I think Mira is around 17 or 18 years old, and Sol is 14 or 15, so in our world, they would both be in high school. And jumping right in, I'm going to start by drawing Mira. She's a solitary person, so I drew her standing on the school roof. Maybe she comes here before class starts to get a breath of fresh air or something. I'm not really sure. To fit the realistic look, I changed the color of Mira's skin to be not as salmon colored. I also debated on whether or not to change her hair color to a natural one, but decided against it because I wanted to keep her looking like herself still. Also, I knew I could justify that since in the modern world, people can dye their hair. At first, I had Mira making a more enthusiastic or confident pose than I wanted her to. So I changed it to fit her personality better. And if you've watched the previous video, you might remember me mentioning my stylus pen having issues. I'm now able to use it again, so I started using it near the end of the first illustration and everything after that. I'm also curious to find out which of the characters' designs you like the best, so here's both of them side by side. Let me know in the comments who you like better. Anyway, when drawing Mira, I try to keep her color scheme somewhat consistent, but lighter and more muted because I found that it's a good way to transform cartoonish designs into making them more realistic. So for her school clothes, I pictured maybe a sweater on top of a collared shirt. And Mira's original clothing design has purple and some blue in it, so I made the sweater a light muted purple and the shirt underneath sort of a bluish white. When I was defining the background more, I quickly painted a rough outline of the buildings of the city below her, and I used a gradient set to the color of the sky to blend it out and make it look further away. Looking back at the illustration, I wish that I had thought to add clouds in the sky, but I don't really have time before the video is posted to do that. Maybe I'll just add it in later and post it as a community post or something? I'm going to wait until the end to reveal the final illustration of Mira, so let's move on to Sol. Kind of like the opposite of Mira, Sol is more sociable and open. Because of this, I decided to draw her in the hallway of the school. Also, I mentioned in the last video that I was going to do a style study of a well-known artist. There's a poll for that on my community page, so if you want to help choose who I study, you can vote over there. The deadline for that is Monday. And to give me extra time to give you guys a high quality video, I will only be posting one short form video this week on Wednesday at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. And you might have noticed this already, but just in case you didn't, I always post my videos at that time. For the sketch, I've been using the 6B sketching pencil. It's a default brush in Procreate, but I'm going to try out the brushes that Blue Biscuits uses because I haven't been very satisfied with the look of the line work I've been drawing. For the coloring, as usual, I fill in the base tones for the background first. And I know what I'm about to say is a bit off topic, but I recently saw this artist who was making a color wheel on their community page and drawing magical girl characters on every color space based on what their followers wanted. The idea of it interests me, so I think I'm going to try to do that, but I want to make the theme something other than magical girls. So please give me some ideas in the comments section about the theme you want me to base it on. I also wanted to address the poll I sent out last week about a shading tutorial. It looks like so far I'll be making one on shading clothing, but I'll leave the poll open until next Monday, so not this coming Monday, but the one after that. Before I get back to the illustration, I wanted to answer some questions people were asking me over on my other social media platforms. This was to celebrate 100 subscribers. So anyway, the first question I got was, what are my favorite books? Um, I really love books by someone named Frederick Bachman, especially Anxious People. But other book series I like are the Graceling series, How to Be Remembered, and all the books by Elizabeth Lim. I'm going to answer one more question before I talk about the art again. And the question I got was asking about my favorite color. The answer to that question is frost blue. You might have noticed that both Mira's hair and Soul's skin are the same color. And that's because for the OC challenge, those parts of their design were supposed to be based on my favorite color. Now, if you want to do the challenges yourself to create characters, Mira was made in the Space OC challenge and Soul was created in the Monster OC one. Now for the rendering. I used to use the smudge tool to blend out any harsh areas, but while I was making these artworks, I watched a video from Blue Biscuits about their art process, and I'll put the thumbnail for the video on the screen here once I get to editing that in. But the point is, Blue Biscuits showed a way of blending colors that just involved a whole lot of color picking to get a smoother and more painterly look, which is similar to my own art style. I used it a little bit at the end of this video, but I didn't really get the chance to use it much. It's something I'll be excited to fully try out in the future. And the next question I got was about the brushes I use, and I know I already kind of answered it earlier, but I'll say it again. I use the 6B pencil for sketching and for the line art, 
and then I use the round brush for base colors. For shading, I use the round brush and sometimes the airbrush. And for the final effects, I usually use any of the brushes in the luminance section in Procreate and just lower the opacity of the layer it's on. I'm also hoping that since I'm going to cut down on the amount of shorts videos I'll be posting this week, I can go back to trying to get my PNG tuber to work. So keep an eye out for something about that. Now it's time for the final reveal of both illustrations. I hope in the future I can make a video going more in-depth on the lore behind Soul and Mira's world, so please subscribe to stay updated on that. The last, most frequent question I received was people asking how to submit their characters to me so I can draw them. So click the video at the top of the screen here, because at the end it will tell you exactly how you can do that.